Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the maximum sum circular subarray problem. We are given a circular array C of integers represented by A. Find the maximum possible sum of a non-empty subarray of C. Here, a circular array means the end of the array connects to the beginning of the array. So let's see an example of a circular subarray. If the array A is 5, negative 3, 5, uh, we can connect 5, negative 3, 5 again. So uh, the other buffer length of the A dot length is a circular subarray of the array C. That means 5, negative 3, 5 is a circular subarray. And the negative 3, 5, 5 is also a circular subarray. And the 5, 5, negative 3 is also a circular subarray. That means negative 3, 5, 5, negative 3 is not a circular subarray of the array C because it had the length greater than a dot length, so it's not a circular subarray. So how to find the maximum subarray sum? Uh, you should know the condemns algorithm is used to find the maximum subarray sum in a fixed array. So that means for a given fixed array 5, 3, uh, 5, negative 3, 5, we can find the, its maximum subarray sum, right? We can take use of this algorithm to find the max sum in the circular subarray. How? Let's see some example. If the given array is 1, negative 2, 3, negative 2, we know the maximum subarray sum will be 3. And we use the condemns algorithm to find the minimum subarray sum, which is negative 2. And we also calculate the sum of the whole array. Uh, we will find that uh, the max subarray sum is just uh, the is also the maximum circular subarray sum. Because if you connect 1, negative 2, 3, uh, negative 2, in the end, we will find the maximum subarray sum also this 3. Uh, how about this array? If we connect 5, negative 3, 5, in the end, we will find this 2, 5 are connected, so they should be the maximum Subarray sum in the circular array. So how do we get this five? Actually, we can get this five plus five by we f first find the maximum subarray sum in the fixed array. That should be the whole array sum. That is seven. We also find the minimum subarray sum, which is negative three, and the, the sum of the whole array is three uh, is seven. And we will find that. Uh, how we get this 5 plus 5? We just use the whole array sum minus this minimum subarray sum. So the left should be the maximum subarray sum, which is 10. In this example, we do the same thing. We first find the max subarray sum, which is this subarray. We get 4. And we also find the minimum subarray sum, which is negative 1. And we also find the sum of the whole array. That is 3. And we calculate the sum minus the minimum subarray sum because uh, on the opposite, we will get the maximum circular subarray sum, which is 4, right? So um, we com compare this maximum subarray sum and this uh, sum minus um, minimum subarray sum, we get uh, 4 because they are the same. And for this example, you, uh, if all the elements are negative, we get the minimum subarray sum with just uh, the sum of this whole array. So we know the sum and the minimum subarray will be the equal, right? If we do the same thing, we compare the, compare the sum minus minimum subarray sum, we will get a zero, but actually we cannot get zero. So when the sum equal to the minimum subarray sum, we know that all the elements in the array is negative. So we, we should just return the max subarray sum, which is negative 1. So, for, uh, so what if all the elements are positive? We know the positive, the max subarray sum. We also know the minimum subarray sum, and we also know the whole sum. So we compare the max 
a subarray sum and the sum minus the minimum subarray sum. So we get these six. So in conclusion, our algorithm is use a condemns algorithm to find the minimum subarray sum and the maximum subarray sum. If the sum equal to the minimum subarray sum, we know all the elements are negative. We just return the max subarray sum. Otherwise, we return the maximum of the max subarray sum and the sum minus the minimum subarray sum. Because for this sum, we uh, minus the minimum subarray sum, we will get the as larger as possible the circular subarray sum. So let's write the algorithm. We first check if a equal to num or a dot length equal to zero. If uh, you see the edge case check will return zero. Then we will use four variables. One is max till here. We first add a zero. And we also get max in turtle. That will also be a zero. Um, and the minimum till here. I will explain this full variable afterwards, and there will be minimum in total. There will be a zero. And we also need a sum, right? At first, it also a zero. So what this? Uh, what are this? What does? What do these four variables mean? That means for this given array, we will. Iterate the whole array. So the max here here means uh, the max uh, uh, end at the negative three, and the max in total means that uh, the whole array uh, max subarray sum. When we try to calculate the max till here, we will compare the max till here plus the current AI and the AI. If max till here plus AI is greater than AI, we will sum up these two uh, variables. Otherwise, we just let the max t here equal to a0. Because this is a subarray, so that means all the elements should be continuous. So that's the reason we uh, compare the max t here plus ai uh, to ai. We should uh, at least contain the current element. OK, then we iterate the left part, i equal to 1, i less than a dot length, i plus plus. So if max t here plus a i greater than a i, we will let max t here sum up a i. Otherwise, the max t here just equal to a i. And every time we update the max in total, equal to mass max max in turtle that will be max teal here if minimum the same idea we try to get the minimum teal here and the minimum in turtle plus a i is less than a i make a minimum teal here plus this a i otherwise right the minimum Till here will just be AI because this is subarray, so we at least should contain the current element. I repeat again. So minimum in turtle will equal to mass minimum minimum in turtle till here, right? Okay. So um, we also need to sum up this O verb uh O elements. So we'll do a faster check if sum equal to the equal to a minimum in turtle. That means all the elements are negative. We just return the max in turtle. Otherwise, we return the max in the sum minus the minimum in turtle, and there's the max in turtle. Okay, so the time complexity is just a bit linear. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.